Hey guys, bit of a big day today, so we're gonna finish putting up the rest of the mesh on the very apex of the roof. Up there, Dennis is getting ready to start putting the sheets up there. So this is sort of getting towards the end of the shed, totally not the end, trust me, but we're getting closer to finishing, so that's fantastic. So that's how we got it up guys. All right, so now they're here, they're going up there. Fun. <laughs> we don't have any solar panels going yet and there's no battery and there's no nothing that's a wall full of useless stuff right now <laughs> well guys something else exciting happened the other day and it's to do with this do you know what this is this is a filter for our massive new water tanks but right now I'm going to try and just drop these filters into the manholes so nothing gets in there because we're not quite ready for installing them so let's see if I can just pop these in the top. Probably going to need a ladder. No? Maybe. So you saw today that we put all the sheets up on the roof ready for the apex roof to be done tomorrow. Really not looking forward to playing with fiberglass because did a little bit today and I was so itchy so think I'm gonna wear a suit so I don't get too itchy tomorrow. So I thought I'd take this opportunity to quickly show you around the shed that is pretty much done. I don't know if I'm going to get another chance at showing you the shed before it gets too much stuff put in it. <laughs> so this is it. We have a 20 by 16 meter shed, so the interior is 12.5 and then you've got the awning out the front 
and we opted to have the awnings off the sides instead of like a massive great big shed with the peak in the middle. Yeah, so got a PA door at the back there and two at the front where the other two small roller doors are. So on this side here, we're gonna have a hoist and then on this side we'll have the massive boat. This side over here we'll have my little boat and fishing gear and back over there will be Dennis's side for car space and like working on cars and stuff. Then I'll bring you out the front. <sighs> Ooh, Dennis has just been putting some dirt here so that we can get some stuff inside soon. And yeah, I've got this nice awning out the front so that if it's raining, you can still have the shed door open and not let rain inside. So that's it. This side, we opted for the four laser light clear panels because this is predominantly where the sun comes from on this side. That's where the solar panels are gonna go. And then we have just two laser lights on that side. So we got a water tank in. It's not exactly where we wanted to put it, but it's there for now. We found out it was going to be raining the last couple of days. So last week we put the water tank in and it has a little bit of water in it. So I'm very happy with that. So we got some winter rain. So we got most of our gutters on, or well, got all the gutters on now, but down pipes and stuff. And got this one tank and the pump. Yeah. Happy with that. Yeah. Can we go back any further? You can, but I don't need to. I put it straight in this front down here. No, that's fine. Yeah, but I want to be able to walk behind it. Wow. Guys, I thought the shed was too big and it's not too big. <laughs> it literally just fits in nicely. What about the next boat? Um, you make the front part enclosed. <laughs> <laughs> right. I want to make it so the tow ball is like a meter from the door so that you can walk past it, but I'd rather walk behind it than in front of it because then we're going to have stuff on the back wall. Not much room. Plenty of head height. Plenty of room for a mezzanine. Mm. We're going out of room. Once Brooke fills her side up. We've already filled it up. Look at this. That's ridiculous. Cool. All right. Unhook it and let's not go fishing. Yeah, we should have gone fishing today. I know we should have. There's not a breath of wind. Note to self, don't look at Facebook or Instagram to see what people have caught today. But we're going somewhere else. We're right. going Foster King. We're going Sapphire hunting. So that can actually make us some money if we're lucky. Yeah, I saw a stone yesterday on Facebook that got found. That was amazing. Yeah, so going to do that, lock everything up now that we've got cameras and everything installed. So that's really good. A bit more secure and we can go off and have a little holiday for a week or two and then come back and go fishing. 